Uh, so, you know, kind of started on a, you know, on, on a whim and with a friend and out of the dorm room and gathered 52 kids to all want to participate and get involved and do something different and new. And of course, many of them were my, my friends who were doing it kind of for me. Um, but as it got going and as they developed these relationships and as they were touched by the spirit of people with special needs, it really enriched their lives as well and becomes sort of addictive uh, when you're around people with special needs. And when you remove them or you're not around them <coughs> that much, it's a real void in your life. And I think that's what really the beauty of Best Buddies. I think once you're able to get people to the well to drink, it's hard for them to leave because they want to be around. They want to feel that energy and that compassion and the love and the enormous appreciation that people with special needs have for everything that you do for them for the most part. And the way that they make you feel that you count and that you matter. Uh, and that you really matter just as a human being alone. And it's not the car you drive, the money you have, or the blouse you have on, the way your hair looks, or how beautiful you are, where you're on the cover of a magazine, just because of you. And they really love you in a pure and, I think, spiritual way. And I think all of us want that feeling in our lives, and I think we all want to feel that, you know what, you care about me just because of me, not because of my last name, or how much money I have, or whatever it is. So. I think college students felt that, even though many times they didn't even know what they were feeling. I think they felt it. And that was, I think, the, the beginning of it all and why it's caught on so well and become somewhat of a small global enterprise. And uh, I think it, it all comes back to the buddies and it all comes back to my relationship in the early days. And of course, my mother was a huge inspiration of, to me as well and her commitment and focus on this population and her unending belief and passion that they could contribute in a meaningful way uh, inspired me in so many ways. Yeah, there's an author that was in my dissertation who calls it authentic reciprocity. You know, we think about reciprocal yeah, uh, agreements. Great. You know, I give to you, you give to me, but it's sort of an action taken. But what you just said, the very presence of someone who may not be able to give back to you um, in kind, right. just their very presence actually gives you something. Sure. So that's huge. Sure. And it's very pure. Yeah. And I think it's very refreshing in, you know, 2013 when everybody's jockeying for something. I think, right. you know, I think it, it, it just energizes people in their lives and makes them feel unique and different. And that's the kind of relationship I think so many of us want to have. And if you have a great one with a spouse or something, that's the way it feels. But, you know, that's really hard to have as well and mm -hmm. requires a lot of work. But I think very, very, very often with a person with special needs, you can get that going. And I think it's... Uh, it's a gift.